the recording stops abruptly, then you will know that I blown up the fuse. And yeah, I don't use a iso isolation transformer. It's like what you do at your home. You do not use an is isolation transformer to power up, uh, to plug your, uh, I don't know, adapter. That was interesting. Welcome to Cesar video blog. In this journey, we will have a look at what I just bought. I bought this, this device here, yeah? And guess what? Before we power it on, we should take it apart because it's good to never trust something that came for a factory that states something like made in China. And the factory is known as Kui Feng. We will see what's inside. And before we, uh, we use it, we need to make sure because we need to plug in this adapter. It's a world word adapter that's converting the um, European to 30 volt, 50 hertz to uh, American 110 volts, 60, 50 hertz not 60 because we have 50 hertz on the world world so in our case what we need is simple it's a simple device that we need and um, this it's just a transformer you know a transformer that's transforming the 220 let's step down transformer that's transforming the 220 to 110 it says that it has an uh, 80 watt 80 watt power AC AC adapter. Okay, so usually an AC adapter AC adapter usually and the best one is the one that it's using a transformer. So we have here the wall word, which is going to an inductor. Then. And we have here AC 220 AC, yeah, V AC. We have an iron core, yeah, and we have here an output inductor of, in this case, 110 VAC. Okay that's the basic idea they made it a little bit complicated but from what i see they have a led i suppose i didn't took it apart but i suppose i can guess already it has a dropping resistor from this side let's say yeah from this side it has a dropping resistor i will take it like this yeah it has a dropping resistor and an LED lighting here. That's great. And we have a switch. That switch, I will make it uh, easier, not drawing too much. That switch, it will shift the primary and secondary. Yeah, it will switch primary versus secondary. So it will turn the transformer on the other way. So like that yeah so the primary will become secondary and the secondary will become primary why is that because it's ac and we can run the transformer the other way so if we want to have a 220 volt adapter for america we just use it the other way americans don't have european plugs so secondary will become primary and primary will become secondary that will go on okay nothing more so what we should expect when we plug something like this in the wall to work yeah true so we need to power on a device that was made i'm sorry to run on 110 volt ac 60 hertz we ignore the hertz for the moment so this is what we will do we will switch to the uh, opening the box we will keep this 
I try to fit everything. Yeah, I prepared the <laughs> screwdriver just in case that we need to take it apart. We will take it apart for sure. Yeah, so this is the box it came in. An ordinary cartoon box, you know. Yeah, nothing special. What we have here. I don't know if you can see it. It's 170 volt. 17, yeah. To... 220 so we switch the input the primary and secondary so the primary now it's uh, the 220 volt primary and the secondary we should put out uh, 110 ish okay 110 ish because we have 230 and it will be 120 volt maybe it's acceptable for devices ac devices they usually go into power adapter in some kind active or just transformer iron and inductance no problem no problem with that so guys i will take one meter that i have just rusty one a unity stuff that's you know nothing fancy nothing fancy at all nothing fancy we are on ac volts yeah we will plug this beauty in the wall where i hope it will not explode it can happen okay it's plugged in and we will measure the voltage we're supposed to have 110 volt 110 volt what do you see there 229 230 volt guys i see 230 volt i know what you will say i know what you will say you set it wrong yeah okay let's check let's check it one word uh, of advice guys it has no condenser inside so the settings were for 220 well maybe i got it wrong and it's 220 output you know yeah maybe yeah why not let's switch it yeah we switched it to 1130 so now we will need to have some voltage yeah if we power a transformer that will take 220 volts on the primary yeah, it will force it a little if you if you take a lot of current but in this case we have no current draw other than losses in the transformer so it should be okay to power it on like this it should not blow up because it's made to work reverse and it should be strong enough and isolated enough to resist for a short period of time but for a longer time even if you draw maximum of um, the design power it should work as a step up transformer so you we will have i don't know if, if the ratio is 221 100 let, let's say 220 for the ease of the of the fact uh, it's half yeah so if we have uh, we should have around four, 400 volt outside around that ish yeah 390 something 400 okay so we should plug it in i don't know it will blow up no as we expected it will not blow up but we will have uh, the proper voltage let's see wow wow it's a 229 volt AC what a mystery what a mystery we have here maybe it's a short circuit somewhere in the transformer maybe the switch it's broken in a way or other we don't know it's a mystery let's solve it okay it's a bad device it's a bad device if i will plug it 
the the the, the tape the deck that I want to use with it. It should draw a lot of current. It's transistor based. Maybe I will blow some transistors inside. Maybe I will blow the filament of the VFD that it will run twice the voltage, almost. Yeah, put it in as you take it out of the box and you will have a surprise, especially if the products come from China. Don't get me wrong, Chinese people do a lot of good things, but I find that the sellers and the, the shops who import stuff for us to have them on stock here easier to access, they get the crappiest shit and they sell it for highest price they can. So, in this case, I took one that was appropriate as a size. Uh, it has a 20 watt, they said at 80. I bought it online. Okay, I bought it online. The picture was, I had the impression that it's a bigger transformer. Let's be honest, even if it's, you know, 220 to 110 volt AC, 80 watt, 80 watt transformer, should be bigger should be bigger yeah anyway let's have fun okay let's open it i'm nervous i'm afraid that something will jump on my face like a face hugger oh that was broken interesting nice 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 really nice okay we don't need the Woolworth anymore let's inspect it see that's what's inside a transformer an LED with the resistor yeah with the resistor there carbon resistor yeah not metal shit yeah the plug american plug i'm sorry focus dear friend yeah american plug and a pcb with the switch whoa so let's take it apart well shall we because we can and maybe we find what's wrong maybe the switch is bad maybe the transformer one of the two there are not many choices here okay there are not many choices here not many we have this we have the led that was fixed by some glue oh man but it's fixed not a joke they were not joking i'm sorry fixing it okay so i don't know can we see what the value of the resistor is no we can measure it and see i think for 150 1k 450k something like that half meg after the judging after the the bright uh, the light that's coming out from the from the bulb Ah, you don't see it. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's isolated. It is isolated. Now let let me. Sixty six k. Sorry, sixty six k. We have an LED. Well. We will need to cut it. Okay, we will need to cut it. I will cut the wire here. And I will cut the wire from the LED here. And we see that we have something. So the LED was coming through that stuff. Yeah, black. And the red was coming to the socket. So, which is primary, which is secondary? 
we should see how it is maybe it's using maybe it's just a shock i don't know okay so this this is my hand yep oh so we need to switch back I will uh, put to continuity can you hear it It's a slow meter, but anyway, it will beep if it's shorted, okay? So, this is not with this. So, from what I understand, these things are not shorted. No. No. That's one inductance. That's shorted. It has a low resistance, as I expecting it to have. But we will see in ohms after that. We will switch to. And this is good. So this with this. So the transformer is not shorted. Let's see the resistance in ohms. For this reason, I will... I can use my hands because it's a low resistance. It's not. Oh, it's shorted. It's really shorted. Wow. Guys, it's a short circuit. I don't know why it didn't blow up. Maybe my meter is still not measuring, but I don't know. It's such a low resistance. Okay, 20 ohms. With this said, we should try and solder the wires to that. Add some solder because they use that crappy stuff that doesn't want to come apart easy. So we don't need to put it back. We will have some fun. Yeah, that's one. That's one. Mm, that's two. I don't know if you see inside. Uh, kind of. Yeah, that's two. Okay. So we have the first um, surfaces that it keeps it to away from the button I don't know no ah, the smell of hell it's the smell of hell believe me it's the smell of hell Some 
should be. That should work. It should be okay. And now let's try and fit it back. That's the 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 most. Um, that's easy without switching complications and LED magics. We can add the LED magic if we want, but we don't. I'm skeptical, really skeptical. I will take up the plug and add it here on the table. So you can see that we are plugging it in. If the recording stops abruptly, then you will know that I blown up the fuse. And yeah, I don't use a iso isolation transformer. It's like what you do at your home. You do not use an is isolation transformer to power up, uh, to plug your, uh, I don't know, adapter. That was interesting. So transformer was blown. That was for sure. That was the resistance, the the little, uh, the low resistance of the cores. Phew, that's bad. So the only thing we were seeing there were bypassing the switch were, was bypassing the transformer in a way. And it was like directly the magic smoke escapes. Can you see it? The magic smoke escapes, guys. It was not a short circuit from my side, no. It was just took it away and put it. No matter how, you know, if I could put the vice versa, switching it, and it should still be as a step up transformer. But no, it was just the same. So I believe that the transformer was shorted and not the other stuff. Let us see what was wrong. Because this is the whole idea. Don't trust, don't trust uh, Chinese uh, stuff, guys. Don't trust them. Don't buy that shit. That's a short. That short. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, melt up the transformer. It did something. Yeah? What is going on there? So we have here a, a blown up connection. So the internals of the transformer just shorted away yeah it was internal short in the transformers wires and that's it yeah let's see the world world was not uh, shorted it was just the internals yeah so only the internals were blown oh yeah see internals of the transformer i will not take an autopsy of this it will take too long because it has molten stuff inside it and, but anyway thanks for watching guys and this is what's going on when you buy shitty stuff you know look this It's the simplest device ever. It's the simplest device that we can have. Okay? That's bad. Okay? That's bad. It's supposed to be just that. A simple device. Simple. Okay? We will look again at the, at the, the, at the drawing. Okay? Easy. So, I'll take this and we will make another one. We did that. This. What we did was this. We have... 220, 230 DAC here. Ah, anyway, yeah. That was the transformer, and yeah, that was the transformer. And we have 
I would put here, AC. In our case, we had here a short, yeah? This was shorted, or badly made, I don't know, underrated, who knows? Isolation bad, bad isolation inside, I think, I suppose. And I'm thankful that I didn't plug in my device to mess it up and break it apart and make it tie before it's time i'm happy that i did that so guys please remember please remember never plug in your device in an adapter that's come from china the fact manufacturer of this atrocity of this hellish device that came to from hell to destroy our goods came from china Kui Feng Electrical Company Limited. Yeah? And they have even an email address. It's a Kui Feng. Yeah? Kui Feng Killer Device. See you soon, guys. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I'm Cesar, and I'm signing out.